Hello everybody and welcome to a new chapter Some people never die So when I say this what is the first thought that comes to your mind I'm sure we all have people in our lives who will live forever in our memories even after they die It might be a grandparent it might be an uncle an aunt or even a favorite cousin of yours who has really inspired you in some way Now when you see on a global scale out of millions and millions of people in the world there are only a few people who become really great and they might have been rulers they might have been religious leaders they may be social workers scientists or anybody at all who would have improved the lives of the people by their teachings or their work and we remember them long after they are dead So in this chapter we will be meeting four such iconic people who've touched and transformed the lives of people they have come across. So before we get into the chapter as such, I'd like to introduce you to the person who inspires me the most. So this is Dalai Lama and he is somebody for me who's an iconic person whom I look up to and this was one of his favorite quotes which said if you think you are too small to make a difference try sleeping with a mosquito what does that mean i mean if you think that you are too small to make a difference can you ever imagine sleeping with a mosquito around you though the mosquito is many many times smaller than you it will keep humming in your ears and just won't let you sleep So imagine such a big difference a tiny mosquito can do there is something every one of us can do to the world to change the world into a better place So in this chapter we will be meeting first we'll be talking about Abraham Lincoln then we will be talking about the father of our nation Mahatma Gandhi then we will talk about Martin Luther King and lastly we'll talk about mother teresa so without any delay let us go meet abraham lincoln right now when we see abraham lincoln he was born in the year 1809 to a very poor family in the usa and he spent most of his childhood helping his parents in their work and you want to know something interesting he attended school for less than a year his entire life However, he had a great desire to learn and he was encouraged by his stepmother to read and write. So he read whatever few books he got over and over again to practice reading. And just at the age of 22, he settled in the state of Illinois and he tried his hand at various jobs to finally become a lawyer. And in fact, he was a very successful lawyer. and can you imagine just at the age of 25 he was elected to the illinois house of representatives which is similar to being elected in the state legislative assembly of india so that was a big deal at that small age of 25 to be elected as a member of a house of representative of illinois but at that time slavery was very common in the us and people from africa who were called as negroes or blacks were kept as slaves by the white people and their state was very very tragic so if you can see this poster here it says to be sold their condition was worse than that of animals they could be bought and sold in the market like any other goods and they were made to work for very long hours and their living conditions were also very very bad So all this didn't go well with Abraham Lincoln. So Abraham Lincoln was against slavery. This made him very unpopular in the southern states because people of the southern states supported slavery. They wanted slaves and they used slaves. So when Abraham Lincoln stood against this, people were against him, especially the people of the southern states. But In the year 1860 Lincoln was elected as the president of the United States and when this happened many states of the southern region they broke off and announced that they would not be a part of that nation anymore and they want to be a separate nation 
So this led to a war between the northern states and the southern states, which lasted for nearly four years, which is a long, long time. And that is what we call as the American Civil War. So American Civil War happened during Lincoln's time where the southern states just announced that they want to break away from the northern states and declare themselves as a separate state. However, the war was won by the northern state and USA remained as a united country. So it wasn't divided into a southern states and northern states. It remained a united country. And even before the war ended, Lincoln had already made an announcement and he gave freedom to nearly 3 million slaves in the USA which is a big deal. Can you imagine 3 million people being freed? What a celebration that would be. As you can see here, this was the state of the slaves. They were treated like animals. You can see they have been tied down like animals. So this was how they used to be. And just two years later, a law was passed banning slavery altogether in the US. So they completely banned slavery. And Lincoln was elected to be the president for the second time. So this time when he was elected to be the president, he wanted the people to forget the past, everything that happened in the past, the civil war and everything. And he wanted them to live in peace and unity and happily. And he made plans to remove the differences between the northern states and the southern states. But very, very unfortunately, before his dreams could be fulfilled, he was shot dead by a supporter of the southern states. So whoever heard of his plans for the future didn't really be happy about it. So they went on and shot him and he was killed because of this supporter of the southern states who wanted to continue slavery. So this is about a great man, Abraham Lincoln, who, who really strived for the freedom of the blacks and the Negroes. And he was really successful up to an extent. Now, the next person we'll be talking about is another iconic person in the USA who strived further, who took Lincoln's views and strived further for the freedom of the blacks. That is Martin Luther King. Now, even after Lincoln banned slavery in the US, blacks were treated pretty badly. They did get freedom. There was no slavery, but they were not considered as equals to whites. And in several places like the buses and eateries, blacks were either not allowed at all or they were given very separate place to sit. This is like discrimination. And Martin Luther King was the main person who fought strongly against these injustices. Martin Luther King was born in the southern state of Georgia in USA in the year 1929. He visited India in the year 1959 to understand Gandhi's Satyagraha movement. So he had heard about how Gandhiji's non-violence principles really helped India get its independence. So he wanted to come down to India and understand better about Gandhiji's Satyagraha movement. So he used Gandhiji's non-violence methods to protest and demand equality for the blacks in the US and he gained really tremendous support among the blacks there. And on 28th August 1963, nearly 2 lakh people joined him in his march on Washington. So this was a big major event that happened there to fight and to protest for the equality of the blacks. This happened on 28th of August 1963 and it was called as the March on Washington. And just about a year later, a law was passed in the US giving equality to the blacks and King was given the Nobel Peace Prize for all of his efforts. However, in some states, the injustice towards blacks still continued. And it was that bad that in some states like Alabama, some white officials even prevented the blacks from voting in the elections. And the people joining King and his protest march were all beaten up. Still, they did continue to march. So they took principles of nonviolence. No matter how much injustice was done to them, they still remained calm and they still protested in a nonviolent way. And then finally, all of his efforts paid off. A law was passed to ensure that the blacks could not be stopped from voting. So if you can see this picture here, this is one of his most famous speeches recorded in the history of mankind called as I have a dream. If you have 
time sometime please go down to youtube and please click on martin luther king i have a dream and just listen to his speech it's absolutely inspiring the man that he is and the kind of things he speaks and what all he has done for the equality of the blacks is just marvelous but at the end during his lifetime he made it possible for a whole race of people to live with dignity which was really really big thing so he really strived towards it but again king was shot dead in 1968 at just a young age of 39 anybody who tries to do good to the nation is always resisted always hated so similarly even martin luther king unfortunately was killed and he was shot dead in 1968 at a very very young age now let us meet another iconic face in the history of mankind mohandas karamchand gandhi the father of our nation now mohandas karamchand gandhi was born on 2nd of october which we celebrate as gandhi jayanti in 1869 at porbandar which is situated in gujarat now at that time the british ruled india and he went on and studied law in england and from there he went to south africa to become a successful lawyer and when he went to south africa again south africa was ruled by the british then and the blacks of africa as well as indians were treated pretty badly there by the british and gandhi ji decided that he wants to fight against all of this and he developed his own method of fighting back and this was called as satyagraha now satyagraha was opposing injustice using non violent methods of protest where there was no beating there was no yelling it was a non violent protest and interestingly satyagraha in sanskrit means truth and firmness so his methods were successful and he became very very popular in south africa as well as in india and finally gandhi ji returned to india after spending about 20 years in south africa so he decided to continue his struggle against the unjust british rule in india using the weapon of satyagraha and he launched his movement which is called as non cooperation movement in the year 1902 and it spread rapidly all over india and soon it had millions of people following this and they silently opposed the british and did not become violent even when they were beaten by the police Gandhi ji was arrested but the british were really forced to release him because he was so non-violent he was so calm there was nothing that they could do which would instigate him to do something bad and later he started many other movements against the british and at last success saw the light of day ultimately the british had to bow down before the might of non-violence and india became a free country and the british rule ended on the 15th august 1947 15th of august which we celebrate as independence day and gandhi ji was even against untouchability and he called untouchables as harijan which means the people of god so he felt that even dalit system and untouchability was a wrong thing they were all people of god we are all people of god and we should all be one in fact he even worked towards the unity of hindus and muslims and he was so heartbroken when india was partitioned into india and pakistan and as a saying goes all men must die unfortunately gandhi ji was shot dead on 30th of january 1948 which we observe as martyrs day it is very very sad thing in the history of mankind but of course gandhi ji remembered throughout the world as a great soul and that's why he was called as mahatma mahatma means great soul that is why he became one of the great men that mankind has ever seen so next we'll move on to someone a little more tender someone who has a little more tender loving care mother teresa i'm sure you must have all heard about her Agnes Gonza Bourgeois was born in 1910 and she became a nun when she was just 12 years old. She was 
basically a small child so she was just 12 years old when she became a nun and then she was given the name Teresa at the age of 18 she was sent down to India to teach at a convent at Kolkata and one day she felt as if god was telling her to work for the poorest people of the city so she left the convent and moved to the slums of kolkata and she started looking after the poor and the needy children there and in 1950 she and a few other people working with her set up a new order a new order means a group of people who set up an institution and this institution was called as the missionaries of charity and they took a vow to serve the poor and she believed that serving the poor is equal to serving christ himself and they opened several schools they opened orphanages they opened homes for the lepers and homes for dying poor in india and other countries now this home for lepers especially is very very famous leprosy was a common epidemic that used to spread then and people used to outcast anybody who has signs of leprosy whereas mother teresa opened homes for people ridden with leprosy to help them and for all her selfless service to mankind she received several awards and a few of them are bharat ratna from the indian government the magsese award and the nobel peace prize so these were much deserving awards that she deserved to get but like they say any great soul has to end some day or another she unfortunately died in the year of 1997 so that was the day that mother teresa died and mankind will really miss the service that she did to mankind and everybody would be very very thankful to her so with this we have seen four iconic people in the history so let's do a quick recap of everybody that we just met first we spoke about abraham lincoln who was one of the iconic people of the us who became the president of usa then we looked into mahatma gandhi who is the father of our nation someone that we look up to for his means of non violence and means of satyagraha to protest against the unjust british then we spoke about martin luther king again somebody who is very important in the history of usa who strived for the freedom of the blacks and he made sure that blacks get equal freedom as that of the whites and he even brought voting rights for the blacks in the us and lastly we spoke about mother teresa and all her service to mankind all the good that she has done and all the people that she served in many different ways so with this we complete this chapter if you like the video just hit on the like button please subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you